Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this fall scarecrow. The first step that we're going to do is we are going to start with our scarecrow's face. And we're going to draw that near the top of the page so that we'll have room for the rest of the body. I'm gonna draw that right here using pencil first so that I can add things like the hat, uh, the hair, uh, some decorations. So you'll see I start with a circle and then I'm going to draw the hat. Now the hat I'm going to draw and cut through the top of my circle with a line. Make it a little bit of a wavy line. It's going to be a burlap or a straw hat. And then I'm going to draw a diagonal line here and a diagonal line here. And I'm going to draw a ribbon on my hat right here. And I'm going to draw the top of my hat. also going to add a flower in my hat. In this drawing, I added a sunflower. So in this drawing, I'm going to add a daisy. So I'm going to draw the stem. I'm going to draw a leaf. to draw a half circle. So it looks like a half flower like that. Let me draw the petals. I'm going to start at, this is going to be the center of my flower here. And then starting on this side, I'm going to draw each petal so that it starts on the straight line and ends on the curved line. Just like that. Another one over here. Okay. And then I'm going to do this in Sharpie so that you can see. This is the stem. And my leaf, which looks like a little bit of an upside down heart. I'll add some lines to my leaf. And ribbon for my hat, and the top of my hat, and the brim. And I'm also going to add some hair. For the hair, I'm going to add some long skinny rectangles. So it looks like straw, and I'm going to make some behind. Okay, I'm going to continue adding some of these straw rectangles. You could probably just add lines or whatever you want on yours. And the next thing I'm going to do is my scarecrow's face. So I'm going to start with the eyes, which I'm going to make a circle on one side. And I'm going to make my scarecrow winking, so I'm just going to go like this, line like that. And then I'm going to draw a triangle nose and a smiling face that I'm going to add some stitches to. Add a little bit of a seam there too. Okay, next what I'm going to add is my scarecrow's neck and I'm going to add that by drawing some lines on either side and then drawing a wavy line so this looks like some fabric that's been tied. And of course then we need a little bow. And we can add some stitches to that too by drawing some dots along the edge. 
next thing I'm going to add is the shirt. So for my scarecrow shirt, it looks like a rectangle right here. So we're gonna draw a line down on this side. I'm gonna make it curve just a little bit. So it looks like a little bit more like fabric. And a line down on this side. And then I'm going to draw in the middle is called a scalloped line. It's a curved line that comes to a point. And again, I'm going to add some of these tiny little stitches. I think I will also add a pocket in my shirt. So to do that, choose where I want the pocket to go two lines. I could draw a line straight across. I'm going to draw a V. And then I'm going to put a tiny little mouse in the pocket by drawing the head, which is a circle. It has a point at the end. And I'll draw the nose, two little eyes, and two big mouse ears. Draw some little arms coming out. And now he's peeking out of our pocket. Oh, we need a little mouse tail too. Okay, I'm also going to add buttons. Any of these clothing elements that you can think of. So pockets, buttons, ties. so that one side of our shirt matches the other side of our shirt. Next, I'm going to do the arms of my scarecrow. And what I'm going to do is if I want my arms sticking straight out, I add a rectangle on the side, just like this. But if I want my arm to be bent, like this arm, then I draw a diagonal line out, and then we have to curve it for the elbow, and then I'm going to draw a line down for my arm. Okay. Again, you can add some stitches. You can add some other fabric. We'll add a little shirt underneath. And we'll add some more straw sticking out because remember we're doing a scarecrow. Next, I'm going to draw the bottom of my scarecrow, my scarecrow's pants. So I have to draw straight line down and then I have to find the middle. Draw a little line down for each pant and then a straight line down on this side and then we'll draw, make it look like it's a little ripped or torn, the bottom of the pants. We'll draw some pockets. And we can draw maybe a flower sticking out of this pocket again. half flower, half a daisy. Okay, so any kinds of details you want to add. Um, in this one, I added a crow and a 
little kitty and a pumpkin. I also added some falling leaves, so I'll show you how to do some leaves. When I draw my leaves, first I draw a shape. We'll do a heart like that. Then I put a stem on it. And then, depending on what kind of leaf I draw, I can draw some lines. Or I can draw a zigzag line to make it look like an oak leaf or a maple leaf. This one's a maple leaf. Okay, so just to repeat that. I drew a heart shape. I added a stem. And then I drew some zigzag lines on either side. And I drew some lines to make it look like a leaf. Okay, I need also we need some straw sticking out of my pant leg here. I think we need to make some of these a little bit longer too. This arm looks a little bit stumpy. just about complete. Don't forget to add your artist signature and to color. In my first example, I used colored pencil. For this example, I'm going to use a combination of markers and crayons. My scarecrow is complete. As you can see in this example, I used colored pencils and just colored uh, varying the pressure. Sometimes I colored darker, sometimes I lightened the pressure. And in this one, I used crayons and magic marker and water to turn my magic markers into watercolor. So any color medium that you choose is your choice. You're the artist. Don't forget your artist's signature. Okay. And have a wonderful day.